Good morning. We're going to uh, test the uh, CD2U ignition system underneath the flywheel on this 1991 Evinrude outboard. What we're going to do is we're going to check it for making sure it's working properly, that it's firing at the correct time. If your engine is popping or backfiring, uh, it's very possible that the ignition system could be sending the fire signal to the spark plugs at the wrong time, and that's what we're going to check. So keep watching. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, pull the spark plugs out first, and I'm going to show you. We're going to mark our uh, flywheel and give us a reference mark when they're at top dead center. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. Not too bad. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the flywheel. I'm going to put this pencil eraser in there so we can feel when that piston is at the top. So you can you can see it's quite a ways down. So it's it's going down. Here it's coming back up. Keep moving my pencil so it don't. Okay. See right here, see how that's moving? We're right at the very, t right there's the top, right there. So we're going to make a reference mark where that's at for number one. Okay, here we are coming up. Right there. That's pretty good right there. So let's mark that as number two. Let's make our number two mark right here. I'm going to put a little double dot here so we know that's two just in case it happens to be in a number one spot. Okay, let's go ahead and put our spark plugs back in. Take our pencil out of there. Okay, put our wires back on. CD2U ignition system. The power pack and the sensor coil contain in one piece in the ignition module. And you, you can see that's right there. The numbers that's on top of the ignition module. The CD stands for a capacitor. The 2 stands for two cylinder. The U on it under, is for under the flywheel. The S shows that it contains the uh, slow speed limiting overheat warning and the, uh, and the L stands for using as a speed. Okay, well what we're going to do here now is we verify that the orange blue's on top, that's the number one. Green, orange green's on the bottom, that's number two. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook our timing light up to the number one. We're going to start the motor and rev, and when and when it makes that uh, miss or popping noise or whatever like it, we're going to see if the ignition actually fired. If it fired, my timing light's going to show that the number one mark's going to be here, and then we'll try it on number two. If all goes right, you're going to always see the number one here and the number two on the number two spot when we're testing number two. If the module is messing up, it, we could be seeing the number two at the number one spot, which you would know then that is the, uh, it's the computer piece on this. So let's check it out and give it a shot. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to hook our sen sensor on the top coil on number one. And that, we're going to start it. Because I'm not going to be able to talk once it's running. We're going to start it. 
and you should see this number one come right under here every time it sends the signal for the spark plug to fire. The only number we should see is that number one. And then when it pops or jerks or anything, misfires, we'll be able to see if it's still set to signal or that was, uh, there's no light for there. So let's try it. You know what it's like with an outboard. We just thought we was ready. And look at there, right there, when I pump my primer. Can you see that? So let me fix that and we'll get back. <laughs> Darn! That was hard. All right. Now let's prime where it went. Okay, there it worked. Okay, now, let's go back where we were. See how it coughed there, but the light was on, so that tells me that the uh, the spark was there. Let's check number two. Well, there it is. We checked it. Um, that let us know that the uh, the CD2U is working properly. It's sending the signal at the proper time. No misfires. None that I seen. Every single one. Even if the engine did pop a little bit, that it, uh, it wasn't a misfire on the uh, CD2U uh, ignition system. So it, would, it could have been spark plug. I mean, it could have been a number of other things, but we rolled that out. So that's the way you test that. Make sure it's firing at the proper time. If you click on the link below, I do get a small commission off of anything that you buy when off of that link. And uh, that helps keep bringing the videos to you guys to kind of help troubleshoot some of your engines. So if you like the content, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. And as always, stay safe on the water. Take care.